Hello everybody and welcome to my 20th Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial uh, and then in this tutorial I'm just going to go into both grouping and hiding cell uh, rows and columns. So here I've got a set of data, uh, it's probably not in my preferred format but the format it's in is probably the best for showing you this example. Um, and uh, we've just got different customers and then we've got a total for each customer. Now at the moment this is a bit messy because you've got quite a lot of data in it but you can actually keep this data in your spreadsheet but tidy it up a little bit by either grouping or hiding your columns. So I'm going to show you hiding first. So in order to hide a row or a column you just need to select the row or column by selecting as such uh, and then right click and then hide. And then if we keep doing this for everything other than the totals uh, and you'll see it gets a lot tidier. Now we've got a much tidier table uh, and if we want to unhide those things we just need to click on here uh, on the bit in the top right left hand corner to show everything. Right click and unhide and everything will be brought back again. Uh, we can do the same for columns so if we want to hide these columns we can just hide those and then if we want to hide these we can. Uh, if you want to do it quickly without having to right click then once you've done one you can use the repeat command which is F4. Uh, and just highlight them and press that again and it will hide them for you. Uh, and But this is a little bit messy and a little bit hard to understand. So there's one step up, which is grouping. Now grouping uh, is a little bit different. So you highlight the rows you want to do uh, and then go into data and then group and group. Uh, and what this does is it creates this extra bar on the side where you've got this little expansion tab and then you've also got ones and twos. If you click on this minus, it will get rid of that for you. And if you click on the plus, it will add it back in again. Um, and it's reversible. So you can do it both ways as many times as you want. Uh, so if we keep doing this for the rest of them, so group, group. Uh, and then again, we can just use our F4 command to repeat those. Uh, and now when we press 2 uh, or when we press 1 it's going to hide all of them for us and if we press 2 it expands them back out again. So that's really useful for tidying up your data. Uh, it's not the best way to do it but I wanted to show you how to do grouping because it is a way a lot of people use. Um, when I come onto pivot tables you'll realise that this is kind of almost redundant because pivot tables are like this but quite a lot better. Um, you can also do the columns so let's just group some of the columns. We say we don't want these to be visible sometimes. Press minus and it'll only show us those. So press one and one there and it will combine all two and two and it will expand it all out again. Uh, and that's it for grouping and uh, hiding uh, rows and columns. If you've got any questions, drop in the comments below. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the subtotal uh, formatting feature. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you then.